Okay, in this video, we're going to look at a couple of simple toys. Now you can show these toys to your kids or your neighbor's kids, but they'll demonstrate the principles of electricity and magnetism, like the one here. Now this is basically a little electric motor. Uh, the components of the motor are a D-sized battery, a couple of elastic bands, uh, two paper clips, and a magnet out of a hard drive. Now the armature is made up of a coil of magnet wire, and I'll apply it to the contacts and give it a little spin. And you can see there we got a little electric motor. Okay, this is my second science toy. I call it my deep sea diver. Now if you look at the very top of this uh, pop bottle, you'll see my diver up there and I could bring him down by applying a pressure to the bottle. I could bring him down slow, I could bring him down fast, I could bring him up to the center, I could hover and bring him back up. So I have total control of my diver just by putting pressure on the bottle. Okay, here are the parts needed to build the little electric motor. So first we see here some 18 gauge uh, magnet wire and about three elastic bands, a D-cell battery, uh, some duct seal or some plumber's putty, a strong magnet, now this magnet is out of a hard drive, but you could use a, say a whiteboard magnet. And two paper clips. So the first thing you do is take the battery and the three elastic bands and wrap the, the elastic bands around the battery. So we get something like that. And then take the paper clips and bend them. So one bend would go like that. And then bend a little hook and you would end up with two pieces like that. So then you would take these two pieces and mount them on the battery and that will be the cradle for the armature. Okay, the two paper clips that have been bent into shape are, are fitted behind the two elastic bands on the, on the battery like that. So it makes a cradle for the for the armature. Okay, to build the armature coil, wind about 8 to 10 turns around the D-cell battery and then loop them around the coil and then bring them out either side of the coil, like that. Okay, to complete the armature coil, take a bit of uh, emery cloth or fine sandpaper and sand down uh, both ends to give a conducting surface and we do that just on one side. Okay, I put a little duct seal underneath the battery to hold it in place and then mounted the magnet on top of the battery and gave the armature a spin and away she goes. Okay, here are the components needed to make the deep sea diver. So first of all, we need a pen cap like this one here. Now some pen caps are open on this end and we need this end to be sealed. So if you blow into this end, if you feel air escaping out of here, you'll have to seal this end. And you could seal it with a bit of a duct seal or plumber's putty and make that airtight. And next we'll take a piece of solder and we'll wrap it around uh, the pen cap like this here. So you wrap solder around the pen cap and that's going to give it some ballast, give it some weight. Because you want this pen cap to be just barely buoyant. So there will be a trial and error process as you clip off small pieces of solder until it becomes just barely buoyant. Now the key for this to work properly is the amount of solder that you put on the pen cap. And also when you put this inside the bottle, you make sure that the, the bottle is full right to the top. Because the way this works, water is not compressible. So when you squeeze the bottle, the only thing that's going to compress is the air that's trapped inside the cap. So as you, as you squeeze, uh, the water level will increase and, and it will lose its buoyancy. So if you have any air gap on the top of the bottle, you'll have to, you'll have to press that air gap before it's going to affect this. So two things, the ballast and make sure that the, that the water bottle is full right to the top when you put your diver inside the bottle. 